Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Okay, let's install our first forest and domain. Now I've got a basic Windows Server 2008 R2 installation here. I've given it the computer name DC01. You'll notice it's part of a work group, so it's not part of a domain because when we go to install Active Directory, it's going to create our first force in our first domain, and this server is going to be a member of that domain. It's actually going to be the domain controller for that domain. One of the first things we're going to want to do is give this server a static IP address. So I've already done that. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to right click on my network connection, go to properties. First, let's take a look at IP version 4. So I'll go to properties. I've given it the static IP address of 192.168.6.161. You pretty much always want to give your domain controllers static IP addresses. And this is because if their IP address changes, it can cause a lot of problems and servers may not be able to find your domain controllers. For a DNS server, you'll notice the primary DNS server is the same IP address as this server because when we go to install Active Directory, we're actually going to make this server a DNS server also. And most of the time, all of our domain controllers are also going to be DNS servers. Now, this isn't all of the time. It's just the most normal configuration. We can use other DNS servers for Active Directory but by far the easiest way to do it and the most preferred way to do it is to make your domain controllers DNS servers and use Active Directory integrated zones. But we're going to talk a lot more about DNS later on. So I'll go ahead and cancel out. Let's go ahead and take a look at IP version 6. Now if you're using IP version 6 on your network, you're also going to want to set a static IP address. Well, you're most likely going to want to set a static IP address for IP version 6. If you don't, you'll actually get a warning when you go through a DC promo, as we'll see, letting you know that you should probably set a static IP version 6 address. So I've gone ahead and done that as well. And the preferred DNS server is colon colon 1, which is actually the loopback for IP version 6. So it, it actually points back to this particular server. It's the same as 127.0.0.1 in IP version 4. So I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll go ahead and close out. Now let's open up our server manager. So I'll go ahead and click on it. An Active Directory is actually a role with Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2008 R2. So I'll go ahead and highlight it. Highlight roles. Right click on it. Click Add Roles. I'll click next to the splash screen. And this is the one we want. Active Directory Domain Services. So I'll go ahead and check it. Let's me know I also need to install .NET Framework 3.5.1 which is a feature. So I'll go ahead and add the required features. You'll notice there are other Active Directory roles, but we're going to talk about those later on. When we're talking about a forest and a domain, this is the one we need. Now we can also install these other ones, but they're, they serve a different purpose. So I'll go ahead and click Next, Next again, and Install. Now when we install Active Directory Domain Services role, it actually is just copying the installation files so that we can run DC Promo. And DC Promo is going to be what actually creates our forest and our domain, and we'll go through the whole wizard to do that. Okay, and the installation was successful. Now, if I'd like, I can click on this link to close this wizard and launch DC Promo. And that's, again, what's going to actually make this a domain controller and create our forest and domain. Or I can just go ahead and close out. And then from the Start menu, launch DC Promo. So I just type it in, and I can click on it or hit Enter. And there it just made sure that the Active Directory binaries were installed. And that's what we did when we installed the Active Directory domain services role. Now, if I just went ahead and ran DC Promo without doing that, it would actually install that for us. So this brings us to the splash screen. We can use advanced mode installation if we'd like by checking this box so we don't have to use the slash ADV switch with DC Promo anymore. We can just check this box or we can still use the slash ADV uh, switch. But we'll talk about that later on. So I'll go ahead and click Next. We get a little warning here about 
using uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 domain controllers with Windows NT4, which isn't actually supported anymore. Windows NT4 isn't supported anymore. But if you do use Windows NT4 in your environment, you probably want to read this. So I'll go ahead and click Next. And we're going to create a new domain in a new forest. So I'll go ahead and highlight that or select that radio button and click Next. And we'll go ahead and continue this in the next movie.